Hi, I'm Dustin and the creator of Rapid Rig. In this tutorial will be a continuation from the first one, which was just showing the uh, main part for creating a new proxy rig. So in this video, we're going to talk about the spline. So I'm going to create a new proxy rig and I'm not going to use a template because I want to have this be the default. And I'm just going to put these back at left and right underscore and I'll choose create proxy rig. And so when you do this, you only get the root. You just change the background color here. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna grab the uh, main, I'm gonna scale it up, and then I'm gonna grab the root, and I'm gonna move that up into kind of, you know, somewhere in the torso. I'm not gonna spend too much time on the placement of things just because I don't wanna you know, waste too much time. But anyway, I'll get it like about there, and you kind of wanna have this big enough where it, you know, surrounds the legs. So we have the root placed, and now we're going to add on a spline. So I'm going to choose spline and then I can give it one of the default names. I can type in my own name, uh, whatever I like, but I'll just choose the default of spline and you can edit your defaults. And you know, if you want to have another, maybe I want to have uh, spline two or something, I can just say, uh, add new name, save that. And then that will now be in the list. So if I have my own naming convention that I'm using, I can come back at any time. Anyway, we'll leave with the uh, spine here. And then I can set the number of joints. So let's say I want five throughout the, the spine. Um, and then I'll just choose create spline. And I can also do a pair. I'm just going to do a single one here. We'll look at pairs and some of the other ones. But we'll create that. Oh, uh, got to select. Yes, make sure to select your root. There we go. And now we have our spline. I'm going to just set my geo to be reference. That way it's easier to select. And I'll just push this down. And by default, they're evenly spaced. So you can, you know, if you want to have fewer and have them a little bit lower, so it's more like, you know, the rib cage is more solid, you could easily go in and shift those down if you liked, and then just have one more at the center of the chest. I'll just leave them equally spaced because it's more of a cartoony character, so I'm okay with that. So there we go. Um, and maybe I'll just switch this to X-ray. There we go. So we can see that on top. And I'll get rid of, yeah, I'll leave that referenced. And I'll get rid of my wireframe. So there we can see that we have our spine there. And then we can move on to some more assets. So uh, we'll go on to the arm in the next video.